All right, hello doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Welcome back. Now, today we're going to learn the most basic method of manufacturing. Manufacturing in one step, not two or three or however many steps you might have. One. Now, being able to manage your builds from start to finish is an important part of manufacturing. And there's a lot of factors that go into this, like your routes, available inventory, and who's on the job, hopefully not Steve. Now today, we'll cover the basics of setting up manufacturing orders, reserving components, and creating back orders while using one-step manufacturing. Now, once you have a solid understanding of how to use these functions, you can set it up and be prepared in your database and work, work, work it like Rihanna. So, enough chit-chat. Let's get right into it. All right, Odiris, so now that we're in our database, let's define one-step manufacturing. So, in Odoo, there are several different manufacturing routes available. Now, routes first need to be activated, which we can do so by going into the Inventory app, Configuration, and Settings. Now, we're going to scroll a little bit, and under the Warehouses section, we need to make sure that Multi-Step Routes is selected. All right, perfect. Now, up next, we're going to click on the Set Warehouse Routes Internal Link. It's the little arrow there. Now, when we select our main warehouse, which we have over here as the San Francisco Warehouse, we'll see the options to manufacture in one, two, or three steps over here in the lower right. Now, one-step manufacturing, though, is basically the simplest option. It lets you get right to manufacturing without having to perform warehouse pickings or anything else. It's also Odoo's default manufacturing route, which means unless you change it manually, one step manufacturing will be selected by default. Now, I'm going to cover two and three step manufacturing in another video that's coming up. So stay tuned for more stealthy wood goodness, oh doers. All right, anyways, back to ours. Now that we know which manufacturing route we're using, let's take a look at the product we'll be manufacturing today a bookshelf. So we're going to go to the manufacturing app, products bombs and we're going to click bookshelf now it looks like the bookshelf is made up of wood panels and screws so what else does it require though well if we go over here to operations it requires a 60 minute operation at assembly line one to manufacture now let's you know let's see what's going on at assembly line actually over here in the work center so we're going to go back to our operations tab and we're going to select it now this opens the operations section that employees refer to when assembling our bookshelf. Now, to learn more about this part, by the way, I've actually covered this before. If you go and check out one of my previous videos on work centers, you'll be able to see that. So be sure to check that out. It's a shameless little Jose plug right here. All right. Anyways, let's go back on our internal link icon and we're going to check that out. Now, we'll see that I've activated the settings that require employees to log into this work center. Now remember, this is not activated by default, but I turned this on so only workers who are authorized and trained to use this work center have been granted access and can log in. We gotta keep track of Steve somehow, oh doers. All right, we're actually now ready to walk through a manufacturing workflow. Now first, we need to create a manufacturing order for our bookshelf. So we're gonna go to our operations menu, gotta create it, so new. And we need to schedule this. It's going to be end of day tomorrow. So that's going to be this time for us. I love clicking this little calendar. All right. Now that that's all set up, when I confirm this MO, Odoo will reserve the components and a new line over here for component status will appear under the scheduled date. Now, this is very important, Odooers. The status is marked as not available, which means we don't have enough wood panels at the time of manufacturing to move forward with this MO. Now, if I want more specific details about my components availability, I can actually click on this red graph icon that we have over here. And when I do so, it accesses a forecast report. Now, it looks like I need 80 more wood panels to make these five bookshelves. And before I leave the forecast report, this cool replenish button over here creates a purchase order for you. Since we've shown this in a previous video today, we're just going to place the order manually. No automating today. Now, lastly, we're going to go back over here to our MO using our breadcrumbs, which today is Hawaiian rolls again. Now, if I check the work orders tab, I'll see that I'm still waiting for components. Now, 
since I don't have any wood panels, I need to order some. Now I can actually automate procurement in Odoo, but I'm going to cover replenishment methods in another video. So be sure to check that out. I keep plugging these in, but it's okay. Now, let's assume that I have to purchase this manually. I'll go to the purchase app and I'm going to create a RFQ or request for quotation for my non acronym lovers. Now we'll choose our vendor, which in this case is Wood Corner. Sorry, Azure. And we're going to input our item in quantity. Now, I have a good relationship with my vendor. I'm going to request to receive the components by tomorrow morning. That is how much they love us. And I could do that by changing the expected arrival dates. And once that we're done, we'll confirm this RFQ. And then what happens when we do that? It turns into a purchase order. And that is beautiful, oh doers. Now let's take a look at what happened to our MO. So we're going to go back over here to our manufacturing app, operations, manufacturing orders. Now, from our manufacturing order overview, we can already see that the component status has been updated from not available over here to the expected component delivery date. And that is a very welcome change. Now the color of this date is orange because even though we don't have the components in stock, the system knows that I should receive them in time for production. Now, since I specified that I'll receive the shipment before the ammo is scheduled to begin, this is why this is happening. Now, that's actually what I consider to be very handy because it prevents teams from placing duplicate orders and creating surplus inventory, which everyone always wants to kind of avoid at this point. Now, Odoo keeps track of scheduling and knows exactly when you plan on receiving components, which pretty much will always give you a good idea of whether or not you'll be able to be on time with your manufacturing. So let's go back to the purchase app. And at this point, we will actually purchase and process our receipt of this. So we got to go over here to the PO and receive them. Now we'll validate the reception and then apply the demand as the done quantity. There. Now we've received our 80 panels. And thank you for following along. Now I'm going to hop back over to the manufacturing application. And that's just to see what happened again to our MO. So we're going to go back to operations. MOs. Oh, beautiful. Boom. Now that we've received the components, Odoo marks the component status as available in green. And that's a beautiful color in Odoo. All right. Now we're ready to start on our work orders. We have our wood. All right. I can start my work order directly from the work orders tab of the MO by clicking the start. Or this is important. If you don't want to do that, I can actually access it from the work orders overview, which I'm going to do now just to show you how it looks. So we'll go to operations, work orders. All right, we're here. Let's start our work order from the tablet view by clicking here. Perfect. All right, this is being shown now because this is how our workers will be viewing the directions. Now, since I set up this work order earlier to require a login, I'll have to indicate which worker is logging in. I can pretty much pick anyone. You can actually have multiple employees log into a work order at the same time from different accounts and their icons will also show up over here in the top right corner. Now this is especially handy if a certain operation requires multiple workers. Now, let's say that maybe I had a few workers call in sick, so I'm only able to manufacture two bookshelves today. We just change that up there and then we validate the consumption. Now I want to make a really quick note while we're here. You can't mark a work order as done without growing through all of the necessary steps listed in the operation. And you'll see them over there. But let's mark this as done. And right away, Odoo automatically takes me to a new work order with updated quantity to reflect the number of remaining units. I never have to leave the tablet view if I don't want to. But let's exit that tablet view for now. So to get out of here, we're going to click the little arrow in the top left corner. We're going to get out of here and... We're back. And here we are again, oh doers, and welcome back. I hope that was a very educational infographic style method of teaching you. All right. So in our work orders overview, we'll see that the work order for the remaining three bookshelves is still in progress, as you can see over here. I really like that Odoo lets us know how everything is done. Now, when we go back to our MO overview over here through the operations, we'll also see that Odoo split the original manufacturing order to keep track of what was 
and was not completed yet. Now, let's take a look at the MO for the two bookshelves we did complete. Now, you'll notice that there's a new smart button over here too as well. And that will actually link us over here to the two back orders related to the manufacturing orders. Anyone who works in manufacturing knows that keeping track of back orders like this is kind of really important since unexpected roadblocks show up in production all the time. And thankfully, Odoo does the organizing around back orders for you, which will always help you stay on top of things. Now, since I finished the work order for these two bookshelves, I'm actually going to go ahead and close this MO and mark it as done. And you'll notice Odoo gives us another smart button. Thank you, Odoo. And it pretty much tells us, hey, why don't you take a look at this cost analysis report? Now here, I can see the exact cost details that pertain to this particular manufacturing order, including the components and the operational costs, along with tracked information on the working time for the employees and their rate, if that was something that was, you know, set up in the employee app. And tell me that isn't cool of doers. All right, but let's go back over here via the breadcrumbs again, which is the Hawaiian rolls. Now, for the second MO with the three remaining units to complete, we can either go back into our tablet view, or we can simply click validate and confirm to mark it as done and close it. All right. Thank you so much, Odoers. That's it for this video, and I hope you're learning a lot, because today we learned how to manufacture in one step, purchase components manually, and how to manage back orders. Now, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us for more awesome MRP content. Have a great night, bro doers. Remember to snack.